Hello. How are you? Good? Awesome. So today is two So, today I thought I would do a nice little tingly video and talk to you guys as I do my dead girl makeup. So, I've been very picky about lashes lately, and extensions, and mascara, and very just like not into buying anything or deciding. So I started playing with the idea of the dead girl makeup um, uh, because I don't have terribly dark circles, but I have a little bit and I have, I really don't particularly like wearing foundation. Most of the time that you see me, I'm not wearing foundation. Um, I will wear like lashes, mascara, maybe fill in my eyebrows and like a lip color. Um, sometimes I even wear concealer without, uh, and a little blush or bronzer without even wearing foundation. I just, like, I'm very, I've taken very good care of my skin and I'm blessed that I, um, I pay attention to my diet. I drink lots of water. If you don't have some water right now, go grab a glass of water. So today I like to do makeup roleplay because I am going to be filming for um, my program called Quantumly Decluttered and it's all about releasing clutter in every area of your life, whether it's your home, your office, your relationships, your online presence. every form of clutter, trauma, like stored within your body, like I'm obsessed with the release of clutter and the vibing up of any space and you're your first home. So I'm filming modules for that today and I'd really been putting off filming because I hadn't decided on my look and my vibe and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go with this dead girl vibe and wear some of my really pretty like slip so I have my outfits clean, picked out. Today's the first day of filming, so I woke up, I did my morning rituals, um, I danced, I did my little money hypnosis, um, I did, I had my breakfast, and I did my little um, money training that I'm involved in right now. I listened to a course within that business school on money management and training. So I've had my little routine. I feel energized. I even went to the gym and just lightly like stretched and got out of the atmosphere. And then now I'm ready to um, put on my makeup and get ready to film. So let's go. My hair back. I have a lot of natural red in my hair and so when I dyed it for the first time around 18 or 19 years old oh my goodness it was crazy <laughs> my hair went very like orangey red and <laughs> that is how I discovered and started really looking at my hair and all the natural red highlights I had in it. So when I go auburn, it's very easy for my hair to go auburn. It absorbs it really well. So I'm just going to be pinning it back. So I added some more like lavender highlights into the mix this time with my hair and So in 
instead of it just being more red auburn. The lavender cooled it off a little bit and um, yeah, I really like it. Okay, so <laughs> you can see some of my waviness. So I personally like to do my makeup first before my hair because then I can just pull it back and my nose it just so I'm letting my eyebrows grow out. I had gotten a little carried away. Had them waxed and I think I got a little carried away with them plucking, but I really am letting them go kind of crazy right now because I want to see if like through diet and vitamins and all of that, like where they really stand. So I'm kind of taking care of the middle here, but you can see I have some that come here. So I want to see if these fill themselves in. So for now, we'll just be filling in down. Recently got into shading my face because I love the sun and I was in the sun a lot this summer and I had a lot of dead skin buildup and um, so I accidentally nicked myself a little bit <laughs> so that's what that is okay so I was gifted this Ethan Healy the Skin Breeze Rose Hip Treatment Facial Serum Rose Certified organic. It's a tiny little, maybe it might, it might be like a two ounce bottle, if that. I do not like. <laughs> oh, I do not like. See how that like got in my hair? The drop, the squirter is very are seeing all my faces almost to create a barrier. Oh, I should have pulled my hair back. Uh, as well as once I've applied it, there's like benefits to oil, I know. Rose hip is supposed to be very nourishing and I believe anti-aging. Um, has anti-aging properties, so. Oh, my shoulders are very tense, so. Um, wash the tool, so this is great for like fine lines, wrinkles, as well as um, lymphatic drainage. Okay, so uh, I believe it's down. I've been learning more and more about patterns to do. So this part of your neck that's really tense, oh, or at least mine does. I use the curved part here and it just fits perfectly to really release tension and help the lymphatic drainage and then a little further up I'll do it like here oh my neck just cracked <laughs> so down so depending on if I'm doing this for like just relaxation doing it for maintenance. I try to do it once a day to relieve tension and help my lymphatic drainage, which I don't know all the benefits, but I know it's very, a lot of the toxins that build up and cause other issues are related to the lymphatic system. Like, I mean, intuitively, I think like lymphoma, like I don't know that I'm not a doctor. I don't know that that's correct, but so I don't want to 
offend anybody <laughs> or pretend I'm a doctor. I just think um, I've noticed between my research and then using it myself, it helps with my muscle tension. It helps with just flowing. I have very small nasal passages. And also right now, why I'm filming this video as well is I'm in my premenstrual, so the PMS cycle, which is usually like seven to four, it can last seven to 14 days for me. It's definitely like two weeks, it feels like. So lymphatic drainage is really important because that really stagnates. We have to basically stimulate our lymphatic system in order for it to drain. It doesn't have its own like mechanism to drain is what I've gathered. So along the points, especially for my sinuses, jaw tension, neck tension, and you kind of just have to look at the ball. There are tons of YouTube videos as well from like Wildling and other makers of gouache and tools and oils that show you different ways to drain. But this is always so relaxing because I can always feel when there's like a little buildup that needs to be released. The other thing with the reducing them and I think it's through probably I guess as a time as a skincare expert years ago my guess is from the stimulation of the skin so like bringing blood flow and then also the while well, this is a smooth stone if it's helping with fine lines and wrinkles it's still you know the abrasion sort of thing this part feels really good on other parts of the body or the smooth. I don't, sometimes I get, I really get in my neck. Like, it helps relieve a lot of tension. Mm. <laughs> I made myself with that. <laughs> okay. So along the eyebrows, the curved part, and then also a lip plumper video I saw said to use the rougher edge, the coned edge, and that it will help the fine lines and wrinkles <laughs> around the mouth. I hope this is relaxing for you guys. I'm like, I'm giggling. And I have really here, like smile, but then also I've always had like this like cheek and then drop off here, um, which is fine, I love my face, um, but like maintaining the smoothness and like elasticity of the skin. Doing it a couple extra times because this feels really good. Now I feel relaxed. I also feel like my face is like awake. So um, then I usually rinse and like wash off my tool. This is a rose quartz one. You can get all sorts of like different shapes. I just got mine on Amazon. Um, I believe it was $15. It was under $20. And I know Wildling has their tool that's really beautiful. It's like, it looks like a black onyx or pumice. Stone, I don't know, that's what it looks like, but I'm not sure, but um, that's the one I have for now. Okay, so my hair is out of my face. I'm actually gonna redo my ponytail. My hair is out of my face. Gua sha is done, oil, um, so that my skin will look nice and vibrant. <laughs> And so now we can get started on the makeup. My makeup, really and truly, um, 
I don't typically, like I was explaining to you guys what I wear, um, usually my makeup's never taken me more than 20 minutes sitting for like photo shoots, with the exception of if I'm applying like false lashes and for whatever reason I'm like really like hand shaky I guess. Um, The way that I've been doing the dead girl makeup lately is um, I was given this Le Metier de Vite and I love how it's organized, like how efficient is that? Instead of like a palette that's long, it's stacked. So one, two. So I really love, there's two that I've been using a lot of, I haven't really used that one yet, but I've been using this combo, it's like a stone, but then when you pair it with that, it becomes a little more purpley as well. So I've been doing like a highlight of this around my eyes, and then using this stone to blend in, um, and then um, I have three lip colors usually between this like more crimson and this more like pink purple than the red. The red is very red. So, <clears throat> and then I haven't really been using, I love my tart blush, but I haven't been really using blush with it yet. Uh, but I have been using my Bare Minerals concealer. I've never used a powder concealer. This shit is so cool. just put like a little bit in there. Slide this closed so it doesn't get messy. Um, and then I have like this little um, by Guerlain. Guerlain? This was also a gift this palette and I use this dark color for my eyebrows to fill in. I stopped using a pencil like a long time ago because I felt like pencils were like rolling around. I would lose them. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is the purple because this is really very condensed. So my makeup artist friend taught me Simply put eye makeup on first because and then the concealer so that it didn't drop. If there's drops, you can be as messy as you want and then correct. I try as much as possible to not I used to wear so much black eyeliner that was in a pencil and I would just like pull on my eye and I was like, oh my goodness. I tried not to pull, I tried to just like stamp my hand here so that it wouldn't move. Um, I think it's helped a lot, but yeah, okay. So then I kind of go upwards with it and I go under. I've been going under my eye and under the other eye. Okay. I just like to be met. <laughs> brush before I put some on and I try to like see how much it's under like just flip it away flip it away now because I have oil on my skin 
Some of it might smear or stick. That's okay. I can just use a makeup wipe. But for the most part, this like just went away. So then I take my concealer. And this helps kind of dull and shapes up it a little bit more. Because that purple is so bright. I usually just, the order of which I do my makeup usually is to work with the density of a product. Like sometimes I feel like some products aren't as dense. Um, and others are like really potent. So that's typically what defines the order. So now I kind of have some like brightness back to my eye, but the purple still gives kind of that, it kind of mutes it a little bit, but not completely, right? And then there's a fade. I don't go down too far because I still kind of want my, you know, like, Sleepy face, if you will. Okay, so that's it for the purple, at least for now. And then what I've been using is the stone color. I just happened upon those like, oh my god, it's so good. I don't know if you can hear that. It's very soft. Okay, so then I use this pink stippling and I will swirl it around in this way. And this is because the stippling brush usually has more control over the release of, I don't even know if that's what it's called, but that's what I'm calling it. The stippling brush has more release over how much comes out, like the harder I press. And where I press it, like, it like almost like sticks it to where I'm pressing. And then I can go back in with a more like blending. Okay. Dead girl. Dead girl. Wait till you see with my hair. Okay. I'm gonna do one more. Up a little higher. And even a little underneath to mute out some of that white and blend a little more pattern. There we are. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. used. So, it is the Bare Minerals Concealer. None of this is sponsored, by the way, yet. Oh, one more thing for the concealer, though. I want to put it's too much. Just a little to mute this guy out a little bit. And then we need to, like, blend <laughs> around.
sponsored video. I would love sponsorships, that'd be great. But a lot of these were gifts because my makeup artist friend is super sweet and she also knew that <clears throat> I was, I had done my like makeup clean, graveyard clean out and I wanted to, I wanted to to try these other products um like I was on the lookout the other things I'm on the lookout for are for my very much sea witch slithering vibe I'll have to do a video with that makeup but I want an emerald green eyeshadow as and not glittery right tons of glitter um and then I want an emerald green nail polish. I can't find that OPI has one. OPI is my favorite. I typically try to go as non-toxic with makeup and other things as I can, but with my nail polish, I like when it, I'm very picky about how it lays. And, um, yeah. How it lays, how long it lasts. I get really annoyed if it chips in like two days or doesn't lay right like it's hard to explain but okay all right so the last time the other reason i really like using a like an eyeshadow um for my brows is because it's less things right like in a bag but it's and like you're, if you lose one, you're losing both. You're not like looking for a pencil at the bottom of your bag. You're looking for the palette. But it lasts me so much longer than the pencil because I feel like sometimes the pencil would break because I would push too hard or it would, um, I don't know, just become like more brittle as time went on or like fat, like I would go through it just faster. And I had a palette from Unique that was like their neutral palette, very similar to what I'm using now, but with like four more colors. And it was, um, oh my god, it was, I think it lasted me for five years. Granted, I didn't, I wore a lot from that palette. I can't say every day, but, and there was technically still a tiny little bit left. I was like, oh my god, like five years is too long. Um, in the part that I used for my eyebrows. So I like that it lasted. Okay. They're sisters, not twins, Ellie Sue. They're sisters. So I, oh! This is also why I like wearing oils. It's very easy to correct your mistakes if you do like oil. Okay. I was told... Your eyebrows are sisters, not twins, so just make them look like they're related. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. Don't like how thick that is there. So that's the part about growing my eyebrows out right now, is like, they're so, like, weirdly shaped. It's not, like, it's like following the forest. Like, you can see I have a lot of not so much from back here, can you see? Like, you can see. So it might be easier just to add a little bit more up here. That there's like some that are out of the row, right? So. When filming, I also am okay with more dramatic. Um, looks to my. Let's see, the hair will also help frame the silhouettes. So let's see if I can do that. Let's see if I can do that. 
Oh yeah, this is looking cute. I'm a fan of it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a big Tim Burton fan, a big like thriller movie fan. You guys know I'm like sea witchy. My house is Slytherin. <laughs> so I think that doing like, I used to think that mascara really made me look awake and like my, made my eyes pop, but I think with playing with more of the dead girl makeup look. My eyes are like, meow. <laughs> That's just what I think. Okay. Okay. So now I want to, I do kind of want to clean up that right there, like blur it a little bit. And then I want to do a more like intentional. one more final touch which is does anyone remember the lip color mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so you can see how each one like this would make it more pink and this one makes it more purpley let's see to me that's like too pink i'm not doing that like like girly doll it looks like my hair tie that matches this that I wear with this like neon work outfit so we're not gonna do that one um but I'm just gonna layer it Yay! Gorgeous. Okay, so this is the Cranberry Pie BL241 by NY, NYX Professional Makeup. It's their Butter Gloss line. Note to self, um, if you wear it out, like I wore it out, drank, ate, and it lasted and I still had a, a tint of it the next morning. So obviously I'm not wearing this makeup with this outfit. What I'm gonna be wearing is very different. But I wanna be cozy when I get ready. Like if you noticed, we're not in my bathroom. Um, I like to sit when I get ready. I don't like standing when I'm doing my hair and my makeup. I feel exhausted by the time if I'm done. By the time I'm done, if I do that. Um, so I yeah, I like to sit and relax and chill. Um, but yeah, like this nude lip color lasted. Um, and then now I feel like I have the energy to, like, do a little something to my hair, and then start filming. Yay! Well, thank you guys for joining me. Um, I had fun doing this for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe in the box, um, in the comments. Uh, also, leave me, uh, what gave you there's two things i want to know from you guys since i'm a new channel i want to know if you like the specific content for asmr like was it relaxing um what would you like to see even more of like if there's something in the video i did that you want to see more of let me know that that's asmr related and also if there's tips about like all the transformation things like clearing out your makeup or only buying intentionally or um like using things that are or like buying things that are organization like this is where it like takes up less space um and has a mirror like all these little like more organization like tactical um and logical tips if you like those um if you like both let me know but let me know in the comments um, because I do these, like, declutters and overhauls all the time for myself, and I have so much fun filming, so if you want to see more of something specific, like, let me know, and I'll just work it into my schedule. 
all right um yep just like subscribe share and tag if you enjoyed it and then also don't forget to um there's a uh, youtube video that comes out every week so it'll remind you if you subscribe and also don't forget to follow me um on instagram at the transformation goddess and then if you go to my website, I especially if you like the tactical and like logical tips on organizing, I have a blog that's at thetransformationgoddess.co and you can subscribe to the blog and then you'll hear all about like events that I'm doing and other things between that and Instagram. Alright, I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in and have the best day.